back in this video we are going to talk about how you hold your clarinet and how you can play the first three notes by having a proper embouchure embouchure so embouchure is a way that you form your mouth on an instrument to play and it's always important that your embouchure is correct while you're playing the instrument so the best way to focus on this is to look in a mirror and to also check your checklist so you have a checklist of all the things that you need to be doing every single time that you put your mouth on the clarinet so let's just try to do that right now so bring your clarinet to your mouth and you're going to make sure that you lick your lips so i'm going to lick my lips and i'm going to make sure that my bottom lip is rolled in and my teeth are on top so when we have the clarinet read and just do this with your finger for now roll your bottom lip in teeth on top and then you want to tighten these corners so once again bottom lip rolled in teeth on top tight corners so we are going to do the same thing on the mouthpiece lick your lips bottom lip rolled in teeth on top tight corners I'm also making sure that I'm not taking too much mouthpiece here. If you have a little bit too much mouthpiece, you can hear it in your sound. Maybe your sound is really big and a little too loud. So maybe you wanna come up just a little bit. You only wanna take in a, about, I would say like a fourth of the mouthpiece, really, if you look up here. Really focusing on this top part over here. So once again, bottom lip rolled in, teeth on top. So when you blow out, you wanna make sure that you are saying two as you blow out. And let's go over the first three notes right now. So let's talk about how we hold the clarinet. So when we hold our clarinet, we are going to put our right hand on the bottom. So the way that you could tell the difference between your right and your left hand is if you do an L with your left hand. If you do it with your right hand, it's not an L. So my left hand is gonna go on top here, and I'm just gonna hover over these three keys here. So if you see three holes, one, two, three. And hover means that I'm not gonna press them, I'm just gonna go over it, just like this. Just above the keys, not pressing. For the right hand, when we go on the bottom, we're gonna go underneath this thumb rest here. And it should look like this. When I am sitting, I am sitting up, shoulders back. My feet are flat on the ground, not crossed, and I'm not leaning against the seat. So I'm sitting up, shoulders back, and I'm making sure left is on top, right is on bottom, and you can see how rounded my fingers are. Okay, let's go over the first three notes. So the first note that we are going to be playing is an E. So E is thumb so if we look back here our thumb and our left hand covers this hole and then first finger so notice i'm still nice and round over all the keys but i'm only gonna press first finger and thumb i'm gonna make sure that my embouchure is correct teeth on top bottom lip rolled in and making sure that my reed is wet you could also lick it if it feels dry And let's try to do an E together by taking a deep breath and blowing out while saying two. One, two, breathe. <laughs> Same thing again. Ready? <laughs> Notice that Miss Marmal is not puffing her cheeks. If you see in the mirror and your cheeks go that means that you're puffing your cheeks. So try to not do that. Make sure that you can center all the air and that you're pushing all the air that you can into your instrument. Now I'm gonna quickly show you D. D is basically E, and then all you do is add the next finger. So this is the fingering for D. And we're gonna do it again, same thing. I lick my lips every single time. Licking my lips, making sure my reed is wet, bottom lip rolled in, teeth on top and I'm doing tight corners one two breathe again two ready and 
let's do C. C is one, two, like D, and then you're gonna do three over here. So the whole time it's thumb. So I'm just gonna review all the notes one more time. E and thumb on the back, D, C. So C is one, two, three with thumb. Let's try C. Looking lips, teeth on top, bottom lip rolled in. One, two, breathe. <sighs> Again, two, ready. Okay, so that is E, D, and C. So when you are doing this, I want you to go back into the video and take each note one by one. I showed you all the fingerings for E, D, and C, but if you're having trouble getting out E, just keep practicing. Make sure that your reed is wet, make sure that your embouchure is correct, and then eventually you'll be able to get out E, then D, then C. So I'm just gonna show you one example of a song that you could play using the first three notes. buns so you could also play Mary had a little lamb with three notes but just take it easy see that you're getting a good sound out make sure that you're using your tongue and saying two as you blow out and especially breathe you're gonna need it to play really beautiful and make sure you're always sitting up straight and practicing good habits all right happy practicing